Good evening, everybody. My name is Satyajit, and we are here to discuss one question from Indian Society in our daily answer writing program. As I am a faculty for sociology, optional and society, I would like to pick one question from Indian Society GS1, and that question I would like to first read. The question is about uh, uh, two important topics in GS1 Indian Society. These two topics are poverty and population. The question. Was asked in 2015 for 12.5 marks. The question reads like this: uh, Critically examine whether population is the cause of poverty, or poverty is the main cause of population increase in India. Okay, so we are asked with two important points here: whether population is the cause of poverty, or rather, poverty is the cause of population increase in India. And that was asked for 12.5 marks. But uh, as this marking scheme is not now present so we will consider this question for 15 marks and will design this question accordingly if you can design the structure and uh, if you can think about what can be the dimensions of this question you will observe that both are the causes of each other and they are interdependent right so the first dimension can be let's say population yes of course it leads to increase in poverty fine we can argue like that keep poverty increases because of population increase Secondly, we can also argue with few points. Poverty is leading cause of population increase. Okay. And the third dimension can be in this answer. These two concepts, poverty and population, are interdependent. Okay. And increase in one leads to increase in other. Okay. So we have to cover these three important dimensions here. Uh, both of these concepts and uh, the interdependence and if you design this complete three dimensions in three pages it will look like somehow like this <clears throat> the three pages okay for 15 marks and uh, as formality we have few introductory lines and few conclusion lines here okay and you have to cover three, these three important dimensions in these three pages. So I would like for to first, uh, let's say, uh, add one dimension here. Okay, how population leads to poverty increase. Okay. And I would argue in a couple of three to three to four points here, right? Secondly, I would like to start with the second dimensions like uh, poverty leads to population increase. Okay. Again, according to my content, I would have three to four different dimensions here. And thirdly, I would like to argue how poverty and population both are interdependent okay so likewise you can design the question accordingly and beyond that you may also add the fourth dimension here key what other factors are influencing the rise of both of these concepts the other factors like we have unemployment or something like this right so uh, these three to four dimensions uh, we need to cover in this question if you are thorough with this, I would like to start with our content, how we can introduce, how we can conclude and what body parts can be here. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. The introduction can be very simple. Uh, it has various, you can say, uh, uh, types to introduce this question or uh, in simplistic manner, you can start with simple way, data and facts. Uh, the quantity of population the quantity of poverty we have in our country or just like simple uh, one of the introduction like the relationship between population and poverty is very complex and we cannot arrive at a, a simple cause and effect relation that we need to critically examine in the following way so it can be a simplistic uh, you can say introduction then the first dimension key poverty as the cause of population increase i can argue in with the help of a couple of points let's say because of lack of education the population is not aware with the use of contraceptives and family planning techniques and the importance of family planning and contraceptives. Because of that an ignorance, you can say, or illiteracy, the population would increase because of poverty. As poverty leads to lack of education and lack of education leads to ignorance towards family planning, population can increase. Secondly, I can argue like economic security. In many societies, especially primitive and agrarian societies, the families, they give birth to more and more children to help them in uh, increasing their income. Okay, though, though, though these children are considered as a future working hands and that's how the families, those are in poverty, especially agrarian societies, they give more birth to more children uh, because of this helping hands to contribute to the more family income. 
thirdly limited health care as the families are poor they cannot afford the high end or uh, specialized medical facilities and that's how uh, to, to to let's say minimize the effect of greater uh, death rates of the children or children or child death rate uh, they go for what you can say the increasing size of family, more births. So basically poor families may not have access to adequate health and that is how it leads to higher uh, child mortality rate and to compensate that higher child mortality rate, what they will do, they will increase the size of the family by increasing the birth rate. Okay. So on these points, I can argue that yes, uh, poverty leads to lack of income, poverty leads to lack of education, poverty leads to lack of healthcare facilities. And all these three points uh, ultimately what it, they lead to increasing population. And the second dimension can be the population as the cause of poverty increase. As you can observe in any economy or any country, the resources are limited. The resources like we have minerals, we have jobs, employment, health and education facilities. And as the population start increasing, the, the crunch or the stress on the resources increases. The rate at which we are generating the, uh, you can say the services like health and education, the rate at which we are generating employment, it is much lower than the increase in the population. That's how as the population rate is more than the employment rate, we can say the, it, it can, the population can uh, uh, become stress or drain on the existing resources. And that's how the resource scarcity is very important uh, uh, cause uh, because of which the poverty increases as the population will increase resource crunch will occur and that's how the because of resource crunch per head budgetary allocation on health education and improving lifestyle uh, will be in deficit and that's how unemployment will increase because of the jobs we are generating are much lower and much fewer than the increasing number of workforce or the population and that's how because of uh, let's say population or scarcity in resources and unemployment rises and that's how it leads to what poverty as the per capita income per capita resources per capita budgetary distribution on the population of the country it will be uh, minimal and that's how it will lead to what again poverty so population as the cause of poverty we can justify with this couple of points beyond that government is also influencing these two uh, topics with the help of various initiatives like we have one employment uh, employment generation uh, important scheme called as manarega uh, at the same time some poverty alleviation schemes like antarday yojana uh, you can say uh, urban livelihood mission beyond that we have also the population control uh, measures the government is taking place so let's say hamdo uh, hamare do like this so you can include these couple of schemes here uh, what government is doing in that regard and lastly you can conclude by saying that ki, by providing few solutions how we can control population and how we can control the poverty so your introduction and your conclusion should address both of these concepts in introduction you should not start only with population or poverty rather both of these concepts should be given due justice in introduction. At the same time, you should provide solutions how we can control population and how we can control or eradicate poverty from India as a solution matter. Okay, so there should be some inclusive growth, sustainable development goals, and something like this in your introduction that will provide some philosophical understanding uh, uh, and visionary understanding of your personality to the examiner. So introduction can be, I mean, the conclusion can be uh, how we can tackle these issues of increasing population rate at the same time the existing poverty in india let's say for example what strategies can be those are uh, the increasing education facilities healthcare facilities economic opportunities and beyond that the family planning uh, education and population education is very important and we can even go for uh, the family planning and uh, sex education or population education at the school level even okay so we can reform our curricula and uh, we can also reform our syllabus and curricula um, uh, let's say by providing the vocational training to the student from the early age itself right so that's how we can conclude this question and on this note i would like to thank you very much for this uh, question and i'll meet you again with another question from indian society itself thank you very much